This garden's called The Last to Leave, and it's inspired by a poem written by uh, Private Leon Gallant, and it's basically paying the picture of Gallipoli after the evacuation. Uh, so, moving on nearly 100 years, this is a modern interpretation of Gallipoli, where it's just silent, and Australian plants have grown over the battlefield, and they signify the fallen soldiers. So I've got these elements in the garden, uh, such as the dugout, uh, the trench wall, a fire step. The story uh, of the that the soldiers went through, uh, and using Australian plants in a way that uh, it sort of creates a really calming uh, atmosphere in the garden, and it's a very contemplative garden, I think, and hopefully it'll sort of bring the life that I So my uh, great great uncle, uh, he was a, a lieutenant to Andrew Christopher Fogarty, and he was uh, blown up in Lone Pine on the 29th of November 1915, and his brother was a medical officer at the time, and he found his foot, and his foot's now buried in the cemetery of Lone Pine, so there's a bit of a family connection, as do a lot of families have that sort of Close to Vanga Stewart, who's a well known Australian plant expert, and he's helped me source plants and seedlings on Melbourne and put me in touch with some of the, uh, the growers up here. So we've sort of got a, a good palette of you know, everything from trees, we're using the hoop pines, uh, and we've borrowed some of the landscape behind the garden. You can see there's a nice sort of seven metre hoop pine there, which is perfect for us. Uh, we've got uh, banks here, so we're trying to get a lot of sort of coastal dry type Australian native plants. Again, you know, just trying to recreate that story of the emotion of Gallipoli.